wolves. XMG. All right, here we go. We did see both plays on your screen right there. Of course, now we are looking at MIM Sexlord, who actually, and MIM in general, just to highlight that clan a little bit and give them a little bit of the props they deserve. Uh, the team has been doing recently uh, quite okay. I mean, considering the lineup where, which they presented a couple of months ago, certainly if you followed Wacker Street Close, where MIM really had like a dream team. And I even believe in the foreign scene in Starker Root, where that team was considered to be pretty much the best team out there. That was the old one, MIM. Though. Yeah. With uh, Draco and stuff? Yeah. And White Rose even once? Or was he always Mouse? No, White Rose was on MYM at some point. I believe yeah. was as well. They had a very good team. They even had Testy. And oh, yeah. some others, yeah. I think. Uh, so, yeah, when they presented this Stock of 2 lineup, it wasn't really like all that impressive. Uh, people were like, Sazi didn't achieve anything yet in SC2. And if you look where he is right now, okay, still he's not MC, but uh, I mean, he's been playing very well. Showed on DreamHack that he's more than capable of competing with the best. And now, once again, going 3 0 in his group. Uh, that is good. And Xlord as well has been doing good in the German scene. Uh, got a uh, fourth place finish at EPS. He won the EPS Liga Pokal uh, 3 2 or 3 1 even against uh, Hasu in the finals. Of course, that is Zerg versus Proto. I'm just kidding, Greg. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But nah, x has been doing very well in general. So, good job by MM right there, picking up those two guys. But we're still, uh, yeah, didn't really have a name for himself in SC2, but been doing more than fine uh, recently. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They're definitely a team that's willing to place faith in, like, previous results. Mondragon as well. Yep. Cloud, who, when they picked him up, yeah, I don't believe he had done anything yet in StarCraft 2, but he was a great StarCraft 1 player. So, it's kind of interesting to see a team that's willing to build on past results like that and just have yeah. faith that their players will turn into what they could be. Well, yeah. it's kind of difficult to get established players out of teams nowadays in StarCraft 2, yeah. so it makes a lot of sense. And StarCraft 2 is such a young game, and there are a lot of players who are very close to the top anyway, so I think it's a very smart move by M MYM. Mm -hmm. And nice to see that, yeah, yes. at least sort of get rewarded by it. We see Xlord spawning the Muslim's position, who, of course, the Muslim is our blue Terran spawning at the 6 o'clock position, while Xlord is our red Zerg spawning at the 12 o'clock position. Uh, ooh, that's a spider well, One second, I thought I was mislooking. I wonder if there was going to be the reactor build from the Muslim. Of course, uh, they're also famous, uh, the, the Muslim into Hellion, into double star with Benji, which doesn't really always work. Certainly not the real <laughs> opponent expects it and goes for a relatively quick meter build, but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case, at least not for now. Yeah, and the Muslim actually opting for a fast gas uh, tech build. Uh, which wasn't anything we had talked about, so maybe he's he's just gotten frustrated again. He's yeah. resorting to one of his cheeses because uh, he was <laughs> doing a lot of like really really heavy marine hellion SCV all ins uh, when we were practicing yesterday. So yeah, he he likes the um, the three he three to four hellions with eight marines and then loads the heli the road some marines up at the high ground and then the hellions as well. Oh, he was just doing a straight all in like build up a bunch of marines SCVs and hellions and he just attack move them. Mm, I can't imagine him doing that. If you're not comfortable with CVT in general, and Metalopolis cross position is more or less a poor scenario yeah, for you. Yeah, it's very very difficult to play a straight up game here even in best conditions. So what, uh, which add on was that? He was a uh, reactor. Ah, okay. And we do see a relatively quick comment and once again by uh, the Muslim though, so perhaps not all that all in after all. We see Exploit going down for it. Uh, the speeding up right, not mining any more gas right now. Queen popping out uh, spine crawler as well, just to, just to be safe. Yeah, after seeing the one gas, uh, he assumed reactor Hellion. And it, which it will end up being actually with that factory there, but just much delayed after expansion. Interesting build. I haven't seen it that much, and at least not with the expansion, of course. It might actually work out if Exploit notices there are no Hellions coming and just goes very low in circlings, doesn't get a second spine crawler, it could um, very well favor the Muslim for delaying his Hellions and just tricking Xlord and not making any units, I guess. Yeah, because he will have around six Hellions out before any layer tech kicks in. Although he's, he's still making six circlings now, and he will have speedling. That should be enough to defend his ramp. But it could give him map control anyway to delay the third, which would be well worthwhile. Then we do see that relatively quick start with as well. So I still think he's going for that like eight marine and then maybe four to six hellions, and he's going to try to uh, drop them over here on the high ground. Something that uh, Fury has been doing quite a bit. I don't know if you know him. Uh, plays on Fury. Uh, yeah, he was at DreamHack. I yes. don't really know him, but I know who he is. Okay, yeah, he's a former Walker 3 player and a good friend of Ben as well. So I guess perhaps they shared a couple of IDs in. Um, Stark of 2, and especially in this matchup, since I do know they use Skype a lot. Uh, see Fury do it quite a bit, and I saw the Muslim try to go it a couple of times as well. Um, it can work if it totally catches your opponent off guard, but if they can see it coming and they have a decent amount of links, you really commit quite a bit to this attack. That we do see that early matter of fact, so it seems like. 
That's really interesting. Generally, with this style of build, I've seen it done with uh, blue hellions instead of reactor hellions. I know Select does that a lot, and actually Quirice as well. Uh, mm -hmm. They're big fans of that build. It's a little difficult to um, actually elevate or drop all your units if you don't have blue flame hellions because you're going to yeah. have more units and only one dropship. Yeah, and the lings just don't die fast enough. They can actually surround and kill stuff on the high ground. Interesting. Um... I, I love the overload placement so far by Xloid, even though it's not all around the map, at least it's at the crucial point where a potential drop. They could see a potential drop incoming. Uh, taking control of the Zone Nag Watch Towers all along as well, even when he lost the first Zirkling, instantly sent the new one. So good job right there by Ixie, making sure that he has map vision, that he ain't blind now running around the thing. Uh, small things like that can actually really save you, the small things like that can really save you the game. If he sees the, uh, the push coming in, in time, he might just be able to uh, produce one more wave of Zirklings. Yeah, definitely. He really, really needs to catch sight of either the Marines coming out or the medevac on the way, because right now it just looks like a kind of a strangely timed reactor hellion to him. And he wanted... Oh, he... I don't believe he's seen the medevac. No, I don't think... I don't this think is going to be very dangerous for him, because he doesn't even have banelings out yet. Just circlings. But he's making 12 more circlings, so actually he should be pretty fine. Then we do see the overlord, so Exo should know exactly what he's facing right now. Then we see the Marines on the high ground. Three queens at once being uh, pulled by Exo. Is the Muslim gonna have enough time? Oh, yeah, he lost his timing there. He could have surrounded the Zirkling er, while the Hellions were in the medevac. That's what I felt too, certainly when there's three queens shooting at the medevac. Uh, but the Muslim does have his units on the high ground right now. More and more Zirklings coming in for Exo, though. I still think the Muslim is gonna need excellent Hellion micro. And somehow gets a lot of damage on these Marines. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. No, it looks like he's just yeah, gonna be kind of, he loses the dropship yeah. and it's gonna lose all his forces. It's gonna be looking really strong for extra now. Yeah, the Muslim is in trouble. Yeah, that just a good surround by Exor there. The Muslim kind of left himself vulnerable and he didn't pick up those extra two Hellions he had out there. Uh, as you were saying, that's the problem with the reactor Hellion. You, you just have a lot more units. It takes two or three trips to get everything inside instead of the efficiency of the blue Hellions. Instantly, Ixlod produces 10 more, or morphs in 10 more drones, realizing that after fighting off this push, there's not really all that much to worry about anymore. Instantly goes into macro mode and thinks he's going to look grimmer and grimmer for uh, EG's very on the Muslim. He's going to research Cloak now as well. That's, um, wow. that's a very an strange old, move. Yeah, that's an old choice. I'm not an expert in this matchup, but even I find that a relatively old decision. Actually going yeah. for three star pots in total. Yeah, I don't know. He tries to hope for a miracle that Exlord won't go muta for a while or something like that, I guess. Unfortunately, his fire is almost half done, so yeah. that's not really going to pay off. I, I also getting the blue hellion upgrade, so... And a third base. <laughs> I don't know exactly what the Muslim is doing there, but... Yeah. Um, he kind of slipped in macro, I think, by macroing his units, because he was really high in minerals and gas, and still uh, kind of is. Yeah, this is an odd way to spend it, though. <laughs> blue hellion is Banshee versus Muta Zerg. It's indeed a relatively odd way. The Queen took quite some damage, a couple of hands right now, uh, poking a little bit at the mineral line from Exo, uh, more like the gas line. At least by a nice, uh, decent micro, Heli, uh, Heli micro right there. Bailing not really able to get a good detonator, so he might be able to um, grab a couple of drones now. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Both Queens very low on HP, but low enough to uh, fight off this aggression. He did see the Spire at least, and he immediately puts up a bunch of turrets. So he And he's still producing three Banshees. I mean, it could work if Exlord really doesn't react fast enough and you have three benches at all your bases, you're gonna lose a ton of drones. Yeah, it certainly could. He needs putting up the third base, so he just needs to do some damage while he turtles up on three base. And he'll be in okay shape. The problem is he needs to get his benches into position as close as possible without Exlord seeing it and then cloaking them because you're not gonna have a lot of energy. Yeah, Exlord doesn't have a whole lot of map vision at this point. He is sending uh, out the mutas. He's gonna send out the mutas. He's gonna scout the star points for sure. Even though when he probably he will probably uh, run into this mistletoe, but I still think he will get a glimpse of these two star points. The Muslim is gonna try to prevent them right now. How many? St he does he, see, saw he did see the tech lab and two star points. So yeah, he, he should be warned. If, if he recognizes that, he'll know something's up. These mutas right now going to town on these Hellions. Uh, the Muslim purely u mu uh, uh, using these Hellions right now as distraction. Uh, smart move right there by the Muslim. Smart. Yeah, but Exloid does have control of the watchtowers, so... Oh, oh ever, he's going to the left. He's, he's not going to see around. it. Yeah, so he's smart move it. by the Muslim there. Smart, once again. Did you watch Epic Meal Time, bro? I've seen some of them. I saw the, the Fast Food Lasagna one. <laughs> That was the best. <laughs> I really like the Jack Daniels sauce. <laughs> yeah, <it's> sauce. <laughs> he needs to cloak now. Now it's too late. He, I think Exo noticed the aliens. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be warned. He was moving the mutants at that point. He was watching them. Instantly morphing he into really the needs overseer. To spread them out. We have the overseer over here. So the Muslim, the Muslim's bench is basically right flying into these overseer. He's going for the queens instead. I don't understand why he's going for the queens. The mutants are there anyways. Uh, he's gonna be able to do kill a couple of drones, but that's pretty much it. Definitely not worth uh, three. Um, Oh, meanwhile, the Hellions actually did an excellent job, at least. Uh, 
something uh, something worked out for Ben in the long run. Yeah, but he's invested so much in his yeah. RAS at this point, and his infrastructure is so bad. You, like three star ports with tech labs for Surg are almost useless. And so. 16 drones right now, 18 drones at once being morphed in. It's a beautiful race, isn't it? Man? It is.